All right. All right, I have to admit it, that's kind of adorable. This is sort of really, really, really cute, and I never had any clue that I would want to be, uh, you know, eyeing up a sleeping skunk, and yet here we are. Well, hello, everyone, and well, oh, are we having two sleepy skunks? Is this, like, skunk nap time, and I just did not get the memo? This is so adorable. <laughs> But hello everyone and welcome. Welcome back to Planet Zoo where we are here in Castle Myers with the Twilight Pack getting ready to go ahead and try to make these skunks a little bit happier because as we've learned there is nothing worse than a scared or upset stinky skunk. So let's back up and we have Zuzurai is finally feeling a little bit better. Uh, I don't think that she's feeling very stressed right now possibly because she's asleep. That's a good thing. And then I think there's plenty of skunk enrichment other than the fact that they would like to have even more interspecies bonus. What else goes in with a skunk? I need to ask these questions. <gasps> the prairie dogs! I will a thousand percent add prairie dogs and beavers. Can I even get beavers? Am I even allowed to have the permits for those things? Oh, 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 oh dear. Okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead and we're actually going to check if we can get beavers and prairie dogs. Uh, let's there we go so we're going to want let's see beavers 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 uh da -dun -dun -dun. okay is it the, the the north american beaver oh man <laughs> oh every time every time i think it's gonna be easy go oh there we go north american beaver i'm like beaver beaver no it's not there it's not there my friends uh now we have it and then prairie dog prairie dog would be under oh my gosh really okay hang on hang on this is why you know what you know what no 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 no. i'm getting a little frustrated with this but i shouldn't be this is excellent training to make sure that we actually it's the black tailed prairie dog there we go so yep we can't have those guys right now phooey <laughs> Oh my gosh, and we actually already have a bunch of our red foxes going ahead and growing up right now. And we have some issues with our bats, having way too many bats. Okay, so um, yeah, we're going to need to go ahead and start getting a move on to things and being a little quicker about starting our day. Also, we're going to kind of, speaking of starting the day, uh, shift what time of day it is because I need to be able to see what we're doing. And trying to catch a bunch of fruit bats in the dark is just a fool's errand, I tell you. But all right, so Jurassic World is having some problems because they feel like their social group is too large. Let's actually look up how many. So they like to have about 35 individuals, excluding juveniles. And if you guys recall, Jurassic World, with all of our bats, is actually one of the most important exhibits we have because these bats are money makers. They are our money makers. The more bats we have, then the higher we have the chance of just kind of scooping them up and being able to sell them, which I like to imagine is we set them free or we put them into like a nice safe area and all the money we make off of them is just the research we've gathered um but you know if we've got this many upset ones it's about time to go ahead and do something about it let's call the keeper to clean this up and then we you know what i haven't done this yet but let's actually manage the population i have never done this so i think we want store in trade center so that we can kind of have a a thought so store and trade center the males with the lowest appeal and we want a maximum of 18 males and then what happens if we store in trade center the females with the lowest appeal so priority oh wait priority will that will that mean that like okay so will that put them yeah, processing population limit. So does that put the priority, okay, like so that we put the animals with the highest appeal or the lowest appeal? All right, let's manage population. Animals exceeding the, speci the specified population limits are automatically removed. Okay, so priority I think means we'll keep the ones with the highest appeal. Animals can be exempted from processing and are sorted by their pro uh, processing priority. Okay. That all sounded like a lot. <gasps> Ember the raccoon is gonna die of old age. Oh my word. Ember. Oh no. Oh no. In loving memory of Ember already? Ember. <laughs> Did she, I think she at least had a chance. Oh no, her little tongue. 
<laughs> oh no, Ember! Oh, rest in peace, rest in peace, my dear. I think she had a chance to have some babies, if I remember correctly. Freaking caribou moss, it is just everywhere, and I love moss, but like, I can't look at my little, my little raccoon kits. Knight, were you Ember's child? Yes, so, so Knight was indeed Ember's child, and Ember did indeed have four babies, who now have no mother. However, Knight, how old are you? Okay, 1.3 years. How old are little baby raccoons when they, like, rush off and they become... <laughs> okay, so you know what? They're only, like, half a year away from their age of sexual uh, maturity anyway, so hopefully... Um, Hopefully they'll be able to handle it without their mom. However, we need to go ahead and handle it by getting over here and handling the trade center. Because this is not... I, I thought this would work with, like, the exhibit trade center. But I guess because you maybe the animals have to age up in order to do that. All right, come on, Jurassic World. Let's, let's yeah, manage the population. Like, I don't think we've... I wonder why that's not working. Maybe, maybe, okay, 18 males. Okay, what if we have like the top? Oh, is that because that's how many? Oh my gosh. It's because that's how many adults there already were. Oh, obviously, Siri. If I had just like added it up in my head, I would have realized that we had too many. So I think we can have like a maximum of like 25 females and then 10 males. And then I think everybody else like gets removed and they should all be calming down and then we have <gasps> sure enough look at this okay so i think what has now happened is unfortunately we removed the ones with the highest appeal <laughs> and we left the ones with the lowest oh no okay that's the opposite of what i wanted um okay we're gonna need to try that again this is, this is why, like, bureaucratic management is not my forte. Putting a bunch of bananas on a bunch of skewers for a bunch of bats, that is my forte. Alright, so let's actually do lowest first, and then that will pull those guys out of priority instead. And now, oh, look at you! Oh my gosh, I mean, look at how cute they are! And listen to their little cheering! Somebody has a little kiwi! Oh, that's adorable. All right, well, this is not going to help us because now the Jurassic World bats are not going to be actually breeding in the way we wanted. So let's actually pop over. <gasps> what? When did you even get pregnant? <laughs> My skunk is about to have skunkly babies. That is wild. I don't even know when they got pregnant. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? I've got to watch this. You know, I don't think I've ever actually seen a skunk baby. I don't think I've ever, like, looked up pictures or information about what, like, a skunk baby looks like when it's, like, brand new. Does it have fur? Is it already, like, black and white? Okay, these guys are really cute. We do have a lot of adorable stripes going on in here. And I think we actually have more research going into... We do! More research going into the skunk situation here. And I hope we have more research going into uh, our situation with the the fencing for the skunks, too. All right, where's my... Are you my pregnant skunk? Okay, this is my pregnant skunk. And she's about to have babies! How long are skunks pregnant for? These are many questions that I, I wish we had answers to. Oh, look at her little waddle. You know, they're reminding me very strongly of badgers right now. I wonder if we can add in some badgers to the castle area. We are quite restricted on the permits that we're allowed to take out right now after all my friends, which is such a pity. But one day, one day, we will definitely be very soon starting a new story, uh, like story world like a storybook world there we go zoo where uh it'll be in franchise mode again so what i could even put some of these guys up for you guys to adopt during live streams which would be so fun hello little one she's a little rescue skunk is she gonna have her babies under this caribou moss and that tree she was thinking about it for offspring being imminent she's really she's really thinking about where to go 
Oh my gosh, are these are these guests going to be lucky enough that they get to watch this skunk have a baby? I will be so jealous if that's the case. Apparently, a few weeks ago, there was a zoo in the U.S. where the giraffe um, that they had was pregnant and expecting babies, but they underestimated or how long it would be before, or I think they overestimated. They overestimated how long it would be before she would have her calf. <laughs> and so the guest at the zoo got to watch the giraffe actually give birth. And I am still so jealous of those people. I, I mean, she gave birth just right in the exhibit. I, I, it would have been the highlight of my life. Also, of course, we have gone into the most protected little spot to go ahead and do this with all of the grass. All of the grass being quite high. Offspring still imminent. I'm going to put some short grass in here. All right. Zuzurai! Zuzu, right. Okay, we're just being baited at this point. Zuzurai, right. here, come here. If you're stressed, what about this nice patch where one of the raccoons has discovered this hay? Maybe she was too stressed to give birth, which is so sad. <laughs> Come on, Zuzurai. What about back here? Yeah? Here, I'll give you another rock. Do you want another rock? Well, I, I, hang on. I have to, like, work on getting you more rocks. But I could get you more rocks. What do you think? Okay, she's actually feeling like this might be the spot. We have a very, very picky skunk who is not sure where she wants to place her babies. But while she goes ahead... And she contemplates this. Ooh, did we just get more skunk research? <gasps> we just completed our skunk research! Yay! All right, Plague Dr. Ren uh, and Plague Dr. Renee, do please keep up the good work. Zuzurai, are you really doing this? That's fine. I mean, look, I don't want to be ungrateful. I'm just excited to find out that you're having babies, but... <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know, this is a good, a good question. So where do striped skunks... Oh, 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 are we holding still? Maybe we need like, okay, what about some small leaves over here? What do you think? Little, little sleep spot? Oh! Oh, that was the problem! We were, we were looking for a burrow, friends! Aha! Uh -huh! That was what was going on! We just had a very picky skunk mama trying to find the best place to have her babies. And that appears to be a burrow. Whoops. No, wait. Where'd she go? Eh, Zuzu right. Oh my gosh, I forgot how the burrows are connected. <laughs> she totally baited us and went to a completely different burrow. <laughs> I can't believe I'm being so baited by a skunk. All right, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> the baby! Hi, little one. Oh, is that what skunk babies look like? Are we going to have the one? That little one's like, I'm out of here. I'm ready to go. Oh, we have two babies. Not a drill. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have... Oh, we have three babies? <laughs> all right, guys. I would like you all to welcome our three new little skunk babies. Chusu is such a cute name for a skunk. I kind of want to keep that one's name. But let me name the other... Two. Okay, well, two of them are named Chusu, so we're going to need to do something about that. Um, and then Nalin. Oh, those are really cute names. But I, I need to rename at least one of them because we have two Chusus. All right, come here. And you are one of the Chusus. And we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to name this one Endercat. And Endercat... If you are now watching, you'll be like, wait, when did I when did I comment? And actually, I still have the comments pulled up for doing the Barkatory episodes. So Endercat, I love the idea of doing an Australian Shepherd and Dragon crossbreed, just FYI. But I also hope you will enjoy being this absolutely adorable little skunk. Uh, now, you know what? We need to actually learn a little bit more about skunks. <clears throat> They are a solitary animal, although the male and female skunks may form temporary pairings or harems during the mating season. During the mating season, from February to April, males will roam far and track females by the scent of their urine. A female in oysters will act submissively towards an approaching male and allow him to mount her. He will stay with her and defend her from competitors for about 35 days. During a breeding season, he may accumulate and guard a harem of multiple females. Man, he'd probably be really busy having to like run to all those different Different territories and be like hey back off when the male stops guarding her the female retreats to her den following a pregnancy of 59 to 77 days oh that's actually pretty long i think a fox actually isn't as pregnant that long we'll have to double check 
She will give birth uh, to a litter of one to ten cubs. Pardon? <laughs> Oh my gosh, 10 cubs? So they're called uh, skunk cubs, just like fox cubs. Got it. Uh, so on average, she'll have four to five. The infants remain in the den until six weeks old, at which age they begin eating solid food and accompanying their mother on foraging trips. They are fully weaned by 10 weeks old and become in independent soon after. So they, they kind of like nope out of here at 10 weeks. I wonder how, how long does it take? Science needs to know this answer. But if a baby skunk can actually become independent, uh, and then let's find Nalan, and we'll keep an eye on Nalan for a second. But if this little baby skunk is like, I can be completely independent from my mom by 10 weeks, when, when can skunks spray? How old? So they can, mar they can make scent at birth, and by four months of age, they can spray with accuracy. So... You know what correlates with being about four months old? 10 weeks. So, <laughs> so the baby skunks are gonna stay with mom until they have their own biological weapon of defense. And then mom's like, you're good. You've got some of the best of the best for the entire animal kingdom to be able to protect yourself from others. Go out there and thrive, little one. And speaking of thriving, we need to go ahead and get that mechanic research like hoofing along. Excellent. And then we've got some vet research for our burrowing cockroaches. Oh my gosh, our plague doctors are just like on it right now. Um, and I wonder, is that gonna give us the barrier we needed? So we have the glass barrier and we just unlocked the electric barrier. You know, I've never used that. I'm sure maybe I would use it for if I really, really needed to for something like the polar bears, which are very dangerous. But I, it just makes me uncomfortable to think about using the electric fence on our, our little animals. All right. Well, since we spent the whole time speaking of skunks and messing up our fruit back, <laughs> bat exhibit, we'll work on the bats next time. And for now, what we really should do is get these people really involved in caring about these skunks and caring about these raccoons. So let's get the uh, education up. Oh, yeah, and Storm just had offspring. I probably should set management on that, too. Um, let's put a skittle feeder out here for the skunks because I think that would be absolutely precious and adorable to see all of the animals. Yeah, the skunk is like, yay, that would be fun. Uh, let's go ahead and make it green and then we'll add a little patch of cowberry bushes to see if I can cover up the metal bit somewhat. I mean, kind of. Good enough. Good enough for me. Um, and then for our guest, like, we don't have anything to, to tell these people how cool skunks are. All right, and then let's do this. Okay, so what do we have? What do we have? Do I have anywhere for our guests to go ahead and sit? They could have normal, you know what, you guys get normal benches over here. Just because. You, you, we'll give them, like, a few normal benches, if I can. Uneven placement. My foot! Ugh. All right, all right. Here, you guys, you guys can sit in this overgrown bush. How about that? How about them apples? And then you can sit over here. And then, can I give anybody else? All right. Just trying to get people to, like, sit near the skunks. That's one thing. And now, let's go ahead and give them <gasps> the little exhibit paw station. Oh, my gosh. Cat, hyena, or llama. Oh, my goodness. That's adorable. I haven't used these yet. And the exhibit soundboard. Okay, that's adorable. I, I have not used these, but they totally seem appropriate near some of the like creepy crawly things and kids can play with them. Oh, I need to find a place to put these. I need to find a place to put these. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, the paw print one is not going down, but I can put this thing down over here and we can just imagine the kids are playing in a bush, I suppose. <laughs> okay, and then Let's see, have I unlocked any of the better, any of my better habitat boards? Please have mercy. The habitat boards, these ones are just so, they're just so not attractive, please. Okay, the ground mounted display. I will take the ground mounted display. That is better than nothing. All right, and then let's get some raccoon information going right there. And then I can do another one over here where we can go ahead and get some striped skunky info. And 
Oh, I could put a music speaker over here. Everybody likes music, right? Oh, I could hide it up here. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so if I put it up here, do we have like some spooky music? Is there actually some Twilight? Oh, there is some Twilight music we can play. Yes, let's do that. Let's get some of the creep factor going. And then I'll hide like, here, we'll have like a little overgrown bush hide hiding up there. Is the music playing? Huh, I'll have to check if like the electricity can reach that spot. All right, what else can we put over here? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I've been holding off on getting the, the keeper, the talker keeper here, because I wasn't sure how I felt about spending more money on having a, a animal talk person. I feel good about that now because it seems we're finally bringing in a little bit of cash, which is quite delightful. So I think we can have a talk person come and give a little talk. Carl is about to die of old age. Ah, okay. Oh, and I didn't make something for Ember yet. Oh, heck and heck. Oh, Carl. Oh, rest in peace, go! Almost 12 years old, and that means that we're gonna have to do something with all of his kids. Oh my word. All right, that's it. Who's gonna babble about skunks? We need a skunk-obsessed amazing patron to come on in. We're gonna toss them down, and this is actually going to be Glarn! So welcome to skunk, um, skunk, sassy skunk, What's another S word I could use that has to do with education? Skunk Scholar, there we go. Skunk Scholar Glarn. And Glarn, as always, thank you so much for having been part of our our adventures. Literally, I think since the beginning of uh, like having our Patreon and I just cannot thank you enough. And we're gonna have you come over and we shall give a little skunk speech. And I think now, don't these talking points have like a little sign? Where, okay, um, the inside stink, maybe? Uh, or actually, what's that smell? There we go, that's a good one for talking about this. No habitat to throw food in. My foot. Um, and then we'll do, ooh, conservation music? Wow, I didn't know. We'll do the Twilight playlist when things aren't, what do you mean no Twilight? There we go, there. Uh, and then work zone. And the next talk, frickin' not April, come on, let's do a talk in June. There we go. And fruit bats need to be fixed. Uh, and there we go. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, I think this is gonna help, but let's also put in a actual, like, education speaker. And we're gonna have the voice be bubbling out from the cauldron, because I think that's hilarious. That's also the trash can, but what are you gonna do? Uh, whispers uh, of raccoon uh, rascalness. There we go. And then we're going to set that to a raccoon. And then I think you don't want it. Well, I don't think it matters if it overlaps a little bit with where the talk point is, but I love the idea that the cauldrons are whispering to you about raccoons. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. And now we have some stress going down for these little guys. We need to get some more researchers going so we can put in the one way, uh, the one way fun way, like mirrors, AKA the one way, um, the one way glass that we really need to make these guys happy. <gasps> and are they literally, oh my gosh, I had no idea that the raccoons would be playing in here. Can you guys get out of there? Asking for like everybody's safety. I didn't know skunks swam. I legitimately didn't know that skunks would swim. Huh. You learn something new every day, friends. At least if, you know, you stick around here. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's so much to clean up. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this big adventure. If you guys too could do, could, what, where am I? Okay, I'm sorry. There's just a lot happening. If you guys could do please leave a like for our little baby skunks. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.